Hi guys, welcome to the first ever Flood the Inkwell. Uh, today we will we'll be picking up some Rise of the Floodborne uh, booster boxes and hopefully a gift set today. We will be entering this place a little bit later, Dyson Drinks, uh, to pick up some boosters that have been pre-ordered, but we're a little bit early for that. So first port of call is coffee. Definitely some coffee for today. Hi guys and welcome back. We are finally have our hands on the booster box nice and sealed today we will be opening this we do have more to be opening in the future but we're just going to focus on the one booster box today um let's get started it would be lovely to pull some enchanted but that's not the reason we're here we are here to have some fun pulling try and build some decks the usual stuff. Interesting. There's a little card, little card cover now that came on top. It wasn't in there in the first chapter. I do have Mrs. Flood the Inkwell with me as well, so bear with me while I quickly pass a couple of packs across the table. Thank you. And let's begin. So, first pack is quite. I, in, in fact, it's probably my favourite artwork of this. The new packs, with the Queen of Hearts on. Let's see how we do. Right. So, the bottom left corner of the new, I believe. I don't need to believe it. it definitely is Minnie Mouse, as you can see, uh, just there. And we've got the Croquet Mallet, the Fidget, Flynn Rider, Jasmine, Happy, and the Last Cannon, Vanish an Item. Gains three. Interesting. Fairy Godmother. Zero to Hero. The most Diabolical Scheme. It's an interesting artwork. Yeah, I really like the artwork on this one. This is quite a, it's a vanilla card, 7-7. Seven, seven. Quests for two, but he's cool looking. You can't argue with that. Uh, Strength of the Raging Fire. And a cronk. Hello. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. When then we will sleeve the cronk straight away. We'll do our pulls, we'll put them to one side, and then at the end we'll show you all the shinies, all the good pulls we've got, and that sort of thing. So next up, we've got a beast pack. Ooh, love the Elsa artwork. Tigger, one of our favourites. Hypnotise. Got a rabbit. Piglet. Oh, a very Winnie the Pooh heavy pack. Beast, Rapunzel, Bang Crossbow, Hard Soldiers, Merlin is the Rabbit, and I believe we've got one more card to go before we hit the foil. So we've got Gaston, very nice pull, and Croquet Mallet. That's our first pair hollow, non-hollow, I believe. Yeah. What puzzle piece did we get? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Top left. Nice. Next up, we have this rare artwork. I believe there is three rare cards in the set. One being a flood form.
two. Let's sort out this first. Ah, the bottom right hand corner. One more to go, and we have the full jigsaw. And then they just become a nuisance. So, Jiminy Cricket. Mulan. Donald Duck. The first Basil Wolf. Again, I think three. Hold still. Prince Naveen. Pick a fight. Ring the bell. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> the immortal chicken. Yeah. It's a very cool looking card. I do like the artwork on this one. <laughs> Little John. The Queen. Very nice, Paul. And a Eudora. Hello. Now, quite a good willpower for a card that's only five and quests for two. Vanilla in the factory doesn't have anything benefiting, but it's going to be difficult to get off the board at that early, especially with that nine right there. So next up, we've got another Raya pack. Oh, I've never been able to open packs cleanly. It's like Christmas morning, you get to the point we just rip it all off. So first up, we've got Fairy Godmother. I love the artwork on that one. Lady Tremaine. Gaston. Ooh, a gumbo pot. Sleepy. Now we would love a full set of the dwarves. I think that puts us at two, but perhaps that's a duplicate already. Charge. Pinocchio. Nana. You can fly. That is possibly my absolute favourite artwork so far. I keep changing my mind, but this one I love. Mulan. Cinderella. It's quite a nice card. And then a Mickey Mouse foil. Nice. And for our puzzle piece, oh, another bottom left. Just take another look at that foil quickly. He obviously is the flagship character. It's a very nice card. Having the ability as well to play, pay three less for the next character you play, and also question with three. Possibly going to be a face we see a lot in a lot of Amber decks. Very nice looking card. Just sleeve him up quick. Very nice card. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm feeling a bit lucky with this pack. It's another beast one. I shouldn't feel any luckier than I do with any other pack, but it feels like a bit of special magic in this one for some reason. So, puzzle piece it is the top right. Hey, we finally got the full puzzle. Okay, so hey. I know he's common, but he's very cool looking artwork. It's vanilla 5-5, five five, but questing for two. He is possibly my favourite so far. I'm going to say so far because I know there's a lot of cards in there that I do like the look of. Uh, Felicia, Queen of Hearts, a James, a Eudora. A Jafar, Prince, going to be brilliant in um, a lot of decks that use this resist. This is plus things like uh, Mouse Armor, Cogsworth, if you're running a Sapphire Steel, this is going to be handy. The one resist plus the bodyguard. It's, it's going to be an interesting one to remove, especially early in the game. Daisy Duck, again, going to get a lot of play, I reckon, in Emerald. 
fact that she could discard, especially linked up with a Prince John, maybe who, when you draw, when you get the, um, when your opponent discards a card with the Prince John, pairing out her up with this, with that card is going to be brilliant. I think launch perplexing signposts, lady Tremaine, I believe the next one is the foil. Yeah. Snow White, happy with that. So, again, heavily going to get played in any dwarf deck to get her as a foil is very nice. Just going to sleeve her up. Right, so next up we've got the Queen of Hearts pack. Let's see if I can open this one without mullering it as well. Ready, there we go. Another Merlin. There's lots of Merlin as animals in this one. I believe there's four or five. Um, four, I think, and one just Merlin. I believe this is pronounced Boone. Arthur. Owl. So I think that is the entire Winnie the Pooh cast now. Bar so, Eeyore, yeah. who's no, a family no, favourite. No Eeyore. No Rue. No Sneezy. Kanga. That's our third dwarf. We didn't have a duplicate earlier. So we're now running at Sneezy, Sleepy and Happy, along with our foil Snow White. We've got Let the Storm Rage on. Also Mouse Armour that we were just discussing a second ago. Belle the Bookworm. Nick Wilde. Teeth and Ambitions. And I believe I'm at my last card. Ooh, Ooh Legendary. Hello. We've got Mufasa. Then for our foil, four dozen eggs. Nice. Just taking another look at that Mufasa for a second. Two seconds. Another top right. one. Mufasa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I have seen this played on that pixel one already, and he is a pain. So you can get him out quite early with it being the five. But when he's banished, you can bring potentially things up like the Maleficent, the dragon, or, you know, a Mickey that quests the brave little tailor that quests for four. It's, it's, it's a handy card to have in an amber. I'm not going to see a huge amount of play, I don't expect, but decks that have him in are going to benefit from having him, definitely. But he's going to be useful. Yeah. Next is a... The Queen of Hearts. Mind blank man again, sorry. Uh, let's see how we do with this one. If I can, in fact, get into the pack. I'll cry again. It's the last one, and now the most common. A fairy godmother. Uh, what did you call me? A Gaston. Another rabbit. Sneezy, who we have. Again, trying to get the full set of these. Eventually, we hopefully we will, but if we can get them today in this one box, that'd be lovely. A Charge. Lawrence. And Bucky. A Bashful. Nice. It's so the fourth dwarf we have now. Mini Mouse. Lovely looking card. And the Jigsaw card. Ah, now, very happy with this one. The Belle. She is going to see a heck of a lot of play. The fact that she can discard your, entire, your opponent's entire hand and come out on three, quest for three. It's worth, obviously, they're not being able to ink her. She's going to she's gonna definitely see a lot of play. And how shiny is the Cheshire Cat. Very nice. Pop it straight in the sleeve. Very nice looking card. Right, so... Got a beast pack this time. 
always wonder how they select the characters for the packs. Because they never seem to correlate with anything else. First up, got the Legend of Sword in the Stone. Now, I do like to play an Amethyst deck. This one might feature. Challenge is always a handy skill to have. Got Rhea, the Enchantress, a Porpsicle. We've just recently watched this with our son and discovered my love for Zootropolis. Painting the Roses Red, Bendra. All this time, I've never known that's his name. I always just know him as Big Daddy. Ooh, Bounce. Pinocchio. We've got a Huntsman. Rattigan's Marvelous Trap. Oh, foil, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've got Fidget. That one snuck up on me. And a bottom right. Yeah, beast next. Hey, <laughs> another honey wizard. Uh, a mini mouse, excuse me. Um, gotcha. I'm going to leave the puzzle piece at the back. Mini mouse has been around. Three different variants of Minnie Mouse, I believe, in this set as well. A Hypnotize, Knock, Snow White, Magic Broom, the Mechanical Magic Broom, a Rapunzel, a Madame Bim Snake, Diabolical Scheme, Gruesome and Grim, Cobra Bubbles. And hey, look at that. A non hollow and hollow version in the same pack. So, moving on to the 10th pack. Got a nice selection so far. No, unch no enchanted, sorry. But we can dream. Definitely a dream. And that's my third Merlin. Different animal, thankfully. Blue. Red. Nothing to hide. Horrible, horrible card. Brilliant, but horrible. Blue Dora. And her daughter Tiana. Oh, dopey. That's the fifth um, of the seven dwarfs for us. Judy Hops, Rhea, Arthur, again, lovely artwork in these, King Louis, and then I believe the next one is my foil, Pack Tack. Beautiful cards. Another puzzle piece to add to the stash. Okay, next pack. Feeling a bit of weight to this one. I'm just joking, clearly. <laughs> I don't think any of the packs weigh any differently. Is, uh, Winnie the Pooh, though. I'm stuck. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, though. I'm stuck. Go the distance. Right again, that's quite looking, like, a nice looking card. Evasive, but let down a little bit by the one. But I guess for a forecast for. Evasive with a two. Can't really argue too much with that one. Oh. Basil. Another Snow White. Donald the Deep Sea Diver. Gaston. And in my opinion, a poorer version of uh, Ariel from the first set because you can't find a song. Yes, he's a bit like. He's got one more challenge of power, but you can't look for a song or a version of Ariel, in my opinion. Sardine Can, Mother Gothel, 
Mrs. Judson. With a slight spot there. Interesting. Cinderella. And James Holographic. And the puzzle piece is the top. Let's pop James straight into a sleeve. There we go. Right here we've got a rare pack again. So we've got Cusco. What did you call me? Improvise. Cruella de Vil. Nicola. Blast Cannon. We're starting to see a few duplicates now come through. Jafar. We are approximately 12 packs through. Pain. Now, before we go any further, this is my favourite sidekick in all of Disney. And he is very playable in an Emerald deck. If I run an Emerald, he's going to be in for definite. Just need a panic to go with him. Caterpillar. Winnie the Pooh. We've got Basil. And I think the next one might be my foil. It's very nice beast. looking foil. And then top right again. Nice. Right, before we go on to my next pack, which will, be, which will be a beast, I just want to give a shout out. You've probably seen this logo. This is Dyson Drinks in Burgess Hill. They are a local gaming store, obviously. Um, do a range of things, sell hot drinks, cold drinks, snacks. I mean, if you're ever in the area, come check them out. I appreciate the fact they're letting us open our first booster box in, booster box in here today. Um, yeah, Chris, who like, runs the store, is brilliant, brilliant guy. Um, very helpful. Uh, we've, we've come in and spoken to him about a few things at different times, and he's always really, really helpful, really, really nice, always polite. Couldn't cool. couldn't recommend it more. 3D printing. So yeah, they well. offer 3D printing. So, like, if you've got something in mind, you come in and speak to them. They'll, they'll be able to knock it out for you, I would imagine, but as long within reason sort of thing. But, yeah, I highly recommend them. Come check them out. I am now coming into this pack. There we go. So, the new, or one of the new Dr. Faciliates is a couple, I believe. A fidget. <laughs> we were just saying, just need a panic to go with him. And there he is, mm. panic. Again, I don't think he's going to be as playable. He's uninkable. And he's, he, he is good, but yes, he's going to give panic. Um, Paying that extra bit to be able to quest for those extra, but I think there are better ways to get around and get that done. I don't think he's going to be as playable as Payne will be. The James, the Queen, going to be very useful. We haven't found her yet, but she's going to be brilliant to use to ramp into that too. Floodborne Queen, who is going to be seeing a lot, a lot of play in the Amber deck, so I can guarantee that. Cinderella, pick a fight. Daisy Duck. Cogsworth, yeah, the first one of the day. Again, brilliant card, like two, three. So he's going to stay on the board a little bit at the beginning. And he's going to be brilliant to quest, obviously, ramp into that five cost Cogsworth that gives then resist to the characters. Hercules, now this makes me happy. He's one of my favorite Disney characters. Not my favorite of all. That's definitely a stitch, but Hercules is up there. Brilliant with the resist to shift four. Inkable as well. Perfect. I run steel quite often. He's going to be in my. He'll be in my deck if I get the chance. A bippity boppity boo, and a holographic dragon gem. And top right. Let's just pop that straight into Steve. Sorry, I noticed that some of the cards that we have been pulling, like especially the hollows, we've been sleeving off screen. But I can assure you, every card, every hollow, and every legendary is going in the sleeve. Next up is a beast pack. I know the artwork on the front has no correlation to what's on the inside, but 
it's always nice to know what you're opening. Right, first up we've got Legend of Sword in the Stone. Rhea. Ray, not to be confused. Corpsicle again. Painting the Roses red. Cinderella, Night in Training. Oh, and a dock. That's our sixth dwarf. Just grumpy to go. Madam Mim. The Queen of Hearts. A weight set. Hogsworth. Is that the one you just got it a second ago? Just mentioned a minute ago. Blue Fairy Hollow. Very nice. Very nice looking hollow. Good job. Next up, we have a Queen of Hearts pack. We have an Elsa, Lady Tremaine. Yep, I'm not sure how you say that, so I'm not going to murder it. I'm sure, um, sure someone will tell me. Uh, Mrs. Flood the Ink was telling me it's Verana, so we will go with that. Jasmine, Mulan, Free Spirit, Donald, Jafar, Belle, Bookworm again. Fairy Godmother, Falling Down the Rabbit Hole, and Mari, Legendary, nice looking card. This, this is going to be helpful. Being able to challenge ready characters. She's not the biggest of like characters to be able to take things out, but with some potential support, or if you've got resist with other things on the board, like she's going to be helpful, very yeah, helpful. Yes, and a rat again, hollow. And I said earlier, I really like this card. And I like it even more so in hollow. I'm not sure why. Like a lot of hollows I'm not as big on, but that does look nice. So now we've got a rare pack. Oh, Jiminy Cricket. Boom. Verana. Cruella de Vil. Sleepy, who is unfortunately not the grumpy we need to complete the set. Prince Naveen. Cruella de Vil. Yzma. Queen of Hearts, another Queen of Hearts, Cheshire Cat, and I think that puts the next one as the Honey Wizard Foil. Another rare pack next. Chip. Mulan, Arthur, Basil, Rapunzel, Storm Ray John, Zero to Hero, Nick Wilde, good if you're running pop school, very handy, You Can Fly, Honest John, Grand Pabby, and a basil hollow near the top left. Very nice looking artwork. Again, I'm saying, I said a minute ago that I'm not so fussed about the shinies, but a lot of these shinies do actually look really nice in this set. Yeah. So now we've got the beast. So 
first up is Merlin as the Crab. Go the distance with Hercules. Rattigan. Gumbo Pot. The Queen. And Hercules. Got Robin Hood. Cheshire Cat. Blue Fairy. Lynn Rider. Grand Duke. And Felicia is our foil for this pack. Bye, Felicia. In the Queen of Hearts pack. Not that the artwork on the front has any correspondence to what's inside. But, oh, try that. Let's try not to break the shot. A croquet mallet. Peter Pan's dagger. Another Flynn Rider. A different variant. I don't think we've had this one yet. Basil. Hey, Grumpy. Completes the full set of the dwarves. I'll be honest, my favourite dwarf in Disney. Not so. In Floodborne? Floodborne. In Lorcana. Jafar. And Gaston. Again, weaker version of Ariel, in my opinion. Pinocchio, probably the least useful Bloodborne character. Again, my opinion. People will probably find ways to make it work, but I just can't see it personally. Queen of Hearts. Christopher Robin. Very, very useful card. If you can use something like a little food to keep ready in this guy back up. Law for, law for days. A Namari. And a Robin Hood holographic. This is my example of the hollow not looking as nice. I just think it takes away a bit from the card art. But a hollow just makes it seem that a little bit darker in the background, but still, nice card. Now moving on to a Queen of Hearts pack. Chip the teacup. Blue. Improvise, Knock, Rapunzel, another industrial model magic broom, Snow White, Four Dozen Eggs, Sword in the Stone, Pinocchio, lots of lore but not much ink. This is my kind of play. Beast, Rattigan. Sure. Oh, yes, I thought we had one more to go. Okay, next up, another rare pack. Excuse me, actually, wiping out the camera there. Uh, no, no, no. There you go. A Merlin Squirrel. Felicia. Queen of Hearts. A Duke Weaselton. Not Weaselton. Weaselton. <laughs> it even says there. It's Weaselton. Another Happy. Sorry, I realize I'm getting very close to the camera there. A Last Cannon. Another Prince. <laughs> Another Pain. Again, favorite sidekick. Binding Contract. Queen, I think that's the first one we have of her. Now she is unbelievably good. The fact that if you have something out as well before this, or even if you have a character with a rush or something like that, and you've played this one previous, questing with her, able to wipe out your character, other opponent's characters for essentially nothing, no damage taken. It's, it's a brilliant card. The fact that it comes out on two as well, and it's inkable. But perfect. Apologies, that is baby, baby flood the ink while waking up. Uh, Yzma. And our hollow is a Snow White. Okay, so a rare pack next. 
three more packs to go from this booster box. The Cusco, Peter Pan's Dagger, Enchantress, Duke of Weaselton, a Mulan, a Tiana, Pasha. Spelt correctly this time. There was a big mistake on uh, work together. Very was spelt with an S, not a C. I think it's been corrected in the reprints, but in the first like release, he was spelt incorrectly. A Tiana. Another Cogsworth. Uh, Hero of Flavisham. Shere Khan is going to be a very useful card, along with especially things like Rush if your opponent's exerted. Rush the character in, gain a law. At the Storm Rage on. Oh, sorry. And that's me losing track of where I am. That is the hollow. Nice looking hollow, I have to admit. Thank you. Uh, let's pop that straight into a sleeve. Sleeve it up. There we go. Uh, beast pack next. It would just be me opening these last couple of packs. Uh, this is for being rather like a baby flavor. Yeah, well. He's awoken from his slumber. I'm stuck. A Tigger, superhero. Quite cool. As we mentioned earlier in the video, Tigger is the favorite in our household. The Donald Duck. Owl, Old Steel, Benja, I think that's how it's pronounced, Caterpillar, The Last Stand, Minnie Mouse, Evasive, Maurice's Workshop, Merlin, and a Hollow Queen. Again, I don't think the hollow ad adds much to this card, but it's another hollow, and you can't argue with that. Some people prefer them, as I said before, prefer certain ones, but I don't think it adds much to certain cards. And last pack of the box is a Queen of Hearts. Can the royalty bring us some royal cards? I doubt it. The chances are very, very rare, as people are aware, but one can dream. A Facilier, a Minnie Mouse, a Panic, Nothing to Hide, another Grumpy, another Bencher, Billy Shane, Donald Duck, Merlin Goat, Pete. Cool. Simple, but cool. I like this card. I like this card a lot. And... Very effective. There is an Enchanted of this card. There is an Enchanted of Hercules as well. I think those two are my favourites. So Sydney Artwork for Oh, a legendary next. And Alice, very nice. Very nice card. And our hollow is a Queen of Hearts. So just a quick rundown of the hollows that we managed to get today. Queen of Hearts, Snow White, Rat again. Uh, Robin Hood, you know, we've got a good selection of I don't think there is any duplicates. I would mm, say, out of all though, the Honey Wizard is, let me get a map, my favourite hollow that we have pulled today. It's just a brilliant piece of artwork and it does benefit a little bit from having the shiny i think it makes the just the honey pop a little bit more i think very pretty artwork i'll collect these up and then i'll show you the legendaries pulled for today so four legendaries pulled today we have the alice who is gonna see a lot of play in any sapphire decks i would imagine the fact that you'll be able to ramp in and put a lot of smaller characters in potentially with a higher thing a uh, higher challenge, be able to support her to get up to that 10 quickly. Play for the 5. We have an Amari. Again, being able to challenge the ready characters is a brilliant bonus. 
linked up with anything support wise. Whiteboard, happy days. Val, again, going to see an, a, a tremendous amount of play in any Emerald deck. The fact that she can come out on turn three and you're essentially making your opponent deal with her as well. The fact that she quests for three. They, they even need to deal with her or take her out quick. Right? Whether that's a challenge, which gets rid of their hand, or something like a smash could potentially take her out. But we'll see. And then Mufasa, who again, I'm not sure how much play he'll see, but I think anything that plays Amber Ruby potentially would be silly not to have him in for the fact that you could potentially get your Maleficent Dragon out but after getting rid of this card. So yeah, that is our Legendaries for the day. Okay, guys, so that is the end of our first um, Rise of the Flood One box. We have got more to be opening soon, so... Look out for more videos, but I just wanted to again give a shout out to Dyson Drinks. As you can see behind me, there's lots of stock ranging from things like Warhammer, Chatterpoint Star Wars, <laughs> you got other board games as well. Like they, they do, they do a lot of stuff. Card sleeves, like you name it, they've probably got it. Like, Dice, they got your paints for your Warhammer. Trading card games, right? As a given, like we just managed to pick out, as you know, some little kind of from here. They do other things, Pokemon, Magic: The Gathering, Flesh and Blood. They also host game nights and print their own terrain for forty k and other things. As I mentioned before, they do three D printing. I'm sure if you come in and ask, they can print almost anything within reason. Obviously, appropriate stuff. Um, one other thing they do, and it's quite new here, is axe throwing. Not something you see in your local game store very often, but again, in the area, highly recommend. Come down, do some axe throwing, play some board games. Right? They're very friendly. Chris is the guy you want to speak to. Right? Couldn't help more. We, we came in, spoke to him about some things. We were worried about Lokana. He showed us he was getting some. Sorted us out. Couldn't recommend them all, guys. If you're in the area, Burgess Hill, buy some drinks, come check them out. We'll see you next time.